Happy Thanksgiving, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. I want to thank you so much for all your likes and subscriptions and shares. I do want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And this is my gift back to all of you to do something that I actually didn't expect to do. And I'm so glad that I am. I'm starting with the air signs because all of you guys rocked really, you guys really rocked it out last month for me. So thank you. So Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, not in that order. I'm just going to pull three cards. Okay. Three cards. And the bottom of our deck is Judgment. Look at that. Is this not beautiful? Okay. So, air signs. You feel as though you're being judged from the outside world is what I hear first. Maybe you're making a decision that you feel like you're going to be judged with, right? Maybe you're maybe you've already made a decision. Either way you slice it, you feel like people are judging you based upon your decisions or now you know it's going to go vice versa. You could be judging others for their decisions. Okay? But even so, when most of us know, I should say, when you are judging someone, let's just say, when we judge someone, you know that comes back to us. And in actuality, when you are outwardly judging someone, that comes back to you. It's just, that's a mere reflection of you're judging yourself, basically, if that makes sense. Because when we project ourselves onto another, that's a form of judgment, which this card is speaking of. And again, vice versa. If someone is judging you, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, then it's just them judging themselves. Because our the people that are in our environment, friends, family, etc., are really a mere reflection of us. So when you are on the receiving end, that just means that they're judging themselves because there's something that they don't like within themselves. And if you're the one judging air signs, then know that what you're doing is judging yourself in some way, shape, or form. It could be an internal conflict, right? She's suspended in air, yet you can see, if you can see the circle here, Right? So karmic, karmically, things always come back to those who judge. All right, let me move on. Move, moving forward, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. So, what does this say? This says to me that one scenario is that some of us are being are very clear about a situation in our lives. Something gave us clarity, and this clarity is from a previous relationship. So the judgment card makes sense, the circle meaning it's karmic, a karmic judgment with someone from our childhood, someone that we're connected with, someone that we've known a long time, is judging us or we're judging them and their decisions. But at the end of the day, we are grieving, so to speak. We feel like we have lost out on this situation. And of course, when there's judgment, there, you know, it's not going to be a pretty picture. Judging someone else's motives, judging someone else or having someone else judge our motives. But there's clarity here on what's going on. This could be a family issue. This could be with our kids. Um, the children could be the kids. 
um, family getting in the way of, you know, someone pointing the finger, right? The page of sword is, is actually a child because it's a page. And the six of cups is also, you know, from childhood. So, okay, so obviously this is us. Some of us, right? If we're on, you know, if we're on the, if we're on the receiving end of this, let's just say, or if we're doing it, this is us, this is us doing it to someone. Or this is us knowing that when we did it, this is how we feel. Because it doesn't feel good to judge someone, you know. This is, you know, judgment day, right? This is like, oh my God, I knew that I should never have said that. I mean, come on, we are air signs here. And we tend to use our words sometimes, at, you know, without thinking. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We can lash out. Could just be a simple fight with children or children judging us about something but it seems to me like it's more the other way around okay and now we're regretting what we said it's that simple right we're regretting it okay so now I'm going to use the ascended masters cards and clarify not really clarify I'm not I'm take that back I digress we're going to add some let's add a layer to this and see what the Ascended Masters say. Four air signs. Okay, so the Ascended Masters are the, the you know, the in-depth of this judgment, right? With children or what have you, whatever's being said, is staying focused. Katumi says, we need to stay focused and not go here. Even if we want to, even if there's a small fight that we want, there's just some argument that happens and we lash out to one of our kids or it's a young, it's a young, uh, it's a young child. I really feel that. That's what I feel. Teenager, young child and being regretful. So Katumi is saying, stay focused in your, in your thoughts so that you don't make the mistake of judging anyone because it does come back to you, okay? Then we have Horace saying, we're seeing this clearly. This is, actu this is actually what's happening. So on Thanksgiving, that is what might happen. A little fight may erupt with some of our kids. We need to stay focused not to do that. We're kind of getting a heads up right now not to do that, right? And let's purify our soul so that we don't feel like this, okay? And I'm telling you right now, I am so glad I did this because I have, I have a 15-year-old going on 16. So let me tell you, I'm taking this advice to heart without question. And if it's not, it's just a little small quarrel. Someone's judging you for something that you said and they're going to be reg regretting it without question. And, and don't take that personally. Stay focused, right? Don't take it personally. Stay focused. Okay, now I'm going to, for a special treat, give you all a roomy card. I love these roomy cards. Because usually this roomy card I use every day and I take one card out of this deck and it usually gives me my intention for the day. Okay, so the roomy card that I have selected for the air signs Libra, Aquarius and Gemini is enter the garden of delights. Okay, now this is not a card in which we read like the other tarot cards. This is a special card that is only read. I'm going to read all of 
just the poem so that we can get a clear picture of what our overall, what the overall intention of the universe, the divine, wants us to know. And the poem goes as such. Are you aware that sweetness is found everywhere in town? Are you aware that winter is gone and spring has come around? Are you aware that sweet basil and the carnation are whispering in the garden and laughing about how simply everything is found? Are you aware the nightingale has come back from its flight, singing and messages of love to spread delight with every sound? Everything is the garden, everything, I'm sorry, in the garden is granted the right from the divine court to appear for our delight. Everything is here to make the earth green and alive as a haven for our life. What remains buried in the soil will always endeavor to reach out. No one truly alive can ever be pawned to a prison or a tomb. So, as this card states very clearly, no one can be ever pawned as in a prison or a tomb. We all have a right to stay focused and not necessarily use our words wisely. That's what I'm saying. And you know what? With Mercury retrograde until mid-December, I would say let's use our words wisely so that this doesn't happen and this doesn't happen. Okay, air signs. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Be blessed. Have a safe and wonderful holiday season. I'll see you in December. Bye.